A Squid Game finale theory hypothesizes that, if Guy Hun had boarded in the plane, the organization would have blown it up to keep their secret cover. Squid Game's final episode features several surprises, and one theory making the rounds suggests that Guy Hun's plane would have crashed had he boarded it at the end of the show. The highly successful Netflix series has spawned so many theories because of its frequent twists and the secrecy of the organization running the games. With some key questions left unanswered by Season 1, and even plot holes Squid Game Season 2 should address, it's natural for viewers to wonder what else the series might have in store. Season 1 ends with Guy Hun winning the games and receiving 45.6 billion won. Too traumatized to use it, he spends a year drifting around in an even worse version of his old life. The series as a whole seeks to explore the desperation felt by people in deep debt, and the games themselves are posed as a twisted way to achieve equality, even though they are run for the viewing pleasure of an extremely wealthy minority. Guy Hun disrupts the creator's expectations by ignoring his winnings at first, but by the end of Squid Game's finale, Guy Hun dyes his hair red and seems to move on with his life. It's only at the last moment, as he's about to board a plane to the US to visit his daughter, that Guy Hun realizes the games are still happening and decides to stay and fight back. According to a theory on Reddit, the plane would have blown up if Guy Hun had boarded. The front man tells him over the phone, just get on that plane. It's for your own good, which suspiciously reveals that the organization is still tracking Guy Hun's whereabouts a year after his victory. According to this theory, Guy Hun has become too much of a risk to the organization, and they plan to kill him to ensure their secret stays safe. This explanation of events hinges on two assumptions. One is that the organization is willing to kill victors after the games. But, as another theory, that Guy Hun becomes the front man in Squid Game Season 2 points out, the organization doesn't have a history of killing their victors, but rather of promoting them. In Ho, the winner of the 2015 games and the older brother of Detective Jun Ho is the man behind the front man mask in 2021. While it's unknown what happened to other victors, it still seems quite unlikely that the organization would kill Guy Hun to keep their secrets safe, as it would go against the supposed spirit of the games, which is to promote equality and reward the hard work that it takes to win. The plane crash theory also assumes that Guy Hun poses enough of a threat to the organization that he's worth eliminating in such a grand fashion. But while Guy Hun had to be Squid Game's winner, he gets there mainly with good teamwork and luck, not with ruthlessness or skill. On top of this, Episode 2 highlights just how unlikely it is that the police would believe Guy Hun if he were to report the organization's doings. All of this evidence suggests that the organization isn't too worried about leaks, but even if they were, they probably don't consider Guy Hun that dangerous or capable. His only shot to take down the games is to do it solo, and given the scope of what he's up against, he might not have what it takes to succeed. Ultimately, the theory that Guy Hun's plane was going to crash in Squid Game's finale doesn't quite hold water, but the fact that he doesn't board the plane sets the show up well for season 2, should it happen.